Hi, this is Rob with Precision Zone. AC servo holding brakes can sometimes be tricky to troubleshoot. I'm going to be going over a few things that you can check to see if you have a problem. Holding brakes are normally released by applying 24 volts or 90 volts DC to the coil. To find out what voltage a brake release is at, you must check the resistance. Resistances fewer than 200 ohms should be a 24 volt brake and anything above 300 ohms should be a 90 volt brake. With some coils between 200 ohms and 300 ohms could be a 24 volt or a 90 volt. There's a little gray area in there. Now two tests that you can perform with the machine off and the motor still installed is a resistance test and a mega ohm test. The first test that we are going to do is a resistance test. Now you'll need to find what two pins are your brake pins. On this standalone connector, I know that pin A and B are the right ones. And on this integrated connector, there's gonna be two of these three pins that are normally gonna be it. Now what you're gonna be looking for is an open, shorted coil or anything that will give you a reading. So let's go ahead, check this one. 227, so that could be either 24 or 90. That's 29, that's definitely a 24 volt break. The second test that we are going to perform is the mega ohm test. You are going to need to find a good ground and make the coil. Brake coils are encapsulated, so they should have a maximum reading on whatever mega that you're using. Let's go ahead and find a good ground. And our coil's good on this one. And find a good ground. And this coil's good. So both of these tests pass. So we know that the brake coils are good on both of these motors. A test that you can do outside of the machine is to see what voltage the brake releases at. And I repeat, this must be done with the motor outside of the machine. If you perform this test with the machine off, the axis will fall and you will crash your machine. Now some brakes, they're polarized, meaning that the positive and negative matter, but on these two, they do not. Once you have the motor removed, apply voltage to the two coil pins, and ideally the brake should release before the rated voltage. And after you release it, go ahead and check to see how the rotor spins. So this releases at 12, so this is awesome. The rotor is not binding, not cogging. There's a little resistance, but that's because of that oil seal, and it's not tough to spin. So that one's okay. So we'll go ahead and check this one now. So it could be a 24 volt, but it doesn't look like it is. And it's a 90 volt and it releases at 40. Same thing, spins great. So both of these are awesome. And if these check good, your holding brake is in good working order. Now you may have a problem with the drive's power supply and I'll be going over that in another video. If you have any questions about this video, please check us out at precisionzone.com. Thanks for watching.